Did you know that hand, foot, and mouth disease can linger on surfaces for days, making proper cleaning and disinfection crucial to preventing its spread? Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a highly contagious viral illness that primarily affects young children. Characterized by fever, sores in the mouth, and a rash on the hands and feet, HFMD spreads easily through close contact with an infected person, as well as through contaminated surfaces. Given the ease with which HFMD can be transmitted, particularly in environments like schools, childcare centers, and healthcare facilities, effective cleaning and disinfection practices are critical in preventing the spread of this disease. Proper hand hygiene and the disinfection of frequently touched surfaces play a vital role in controlling the transmission of HFMD. This is especially important in settings where children are in close proximity to one another, as well as in healthcare environments where the risk of infection is higher. Implementing rigorous cleaning protocols can help to reduce the spread of HFMD, protecting both children and adults from this uncomfortable and potentially serious illness. Hand hygiene is crucial for preventing the spread of hand, foot, and mouth disease. Here's how to effectively implement hand hygiene practices to reduce the risk of transmission. Before eating or preparing food, after using the restroom, and after changing diapers or assisting a child with the restroom, always wash your hands. After coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, and after touching surfaces that may be contaminated, such as doorknobs and toys, hand washing is essential. Wet hands with clean, running water, apply soap and lather by rubbing hands together, covering all surfaces. Scrub for at least 20 seconds, rinse thoroughly under running water, and dry hands using a clean towel or air dry them. If soap and water are not available, use hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol. Apply a generous amount of sanitizer to the palm, rub hands together, covering all surfaces of hands and fingers, and continue rubbing until hands are dry. Provide easy access to hand washing stations and hand sanitizer dispensers and educate children and staff on the importance of regular hand hygiene. Use visual aids such as posters to remind everyone of proper hand washing techniques. By consistently following these hand hygiene practices, the spread of HFMD can be reduced, ensuring a safer environment for children and adults alike. Effective disinfection of surfaces is critical in preventing the spread of hand, foot, and mouth disease, especially in environments frequented by young children. Viruses that cause HFMD can survive on surfaces for extended periods, making thorough cleaning and disinfection practices essential. Regularly disinfect high-touch surfaces such as doorknobs, light switches, tables, countertops, computer keyboards, and mice. In children's areas, disinfect toys, play equipment, cribs, bedding, shared learning tools, classroom desks, and chairs. Choose effective disinfectants like chlorine-based products, alcohol-based cleaners, and hydrogen peroxide. Avoid using mild soaps as they may not be strong enough to eliminate the virus effectively. Clean the surface to remove visible dirt and debris with soap and water before disinfecting. Apply disinfectant suitable for the surface material, Follow the manufacturer's instructions for dilution and application and ensure proper contact time. Rinse if needed and allow surfaces to air dry or use a clean cloth to prevent recontamination. Increase cleaning frequency during outbreaks or in high traffic areas and disinfect surfaces daily in schools, childcare centers and healthcare settings. Use gloves when handling disinfectants and ensure proper ventilation during and after disinfection to avoid inhaling fumes. In healthcare environments where the risk of spreading HFMD is elevated, implementing strict isolation and disinfection protocols is essential to control and prevent outbreaks. Isolate HFMD patients in separate rooms or designated isolation wards, limit patient movement within the facility, and ensure healthcare workers wear appropriate PPE. Disinfect patient rooms regularly, focusing on high-touch areas, and clean and disinfect medical equipment after each use. By adhering to these practices, communities can effectively control the spread of HFMD, protect public health, and reduce the impact of this contagious disease. Stay safe and keep your environment clean.
If you would like more information regarding the effectiveness of high-performance infection prevention and control measures, or if you would like to schedule a free, no-obligation on-site assessment of your facility's custodial needs, contact us today for a free quote.